But this is um, an episode of What Are You Drinking? And as always, when we do an episode of What Are You Drinking? It's basically me talking about the can art, if it's dope, giving my experience on the brewery if I've screwed or fucked with them before, pouring it in a glass, sometimes it's an unconditional or um, non-proper glassware, is that the right way to say that? I never really use proper glassware. And tonight, I'm not necessarily gonna use proper glassware because that's just me. I'm not a beer reviewer. As I've told you guys before, I'm a beer consumer. I consume beer, I tell you I'm consuming it, and if you can't get it and you want it, you look out for me. I'll look out for you. I'll get you the beer you want. So tonight, um, getting back on topic, Trapdoor Brewing, glowed up, a New England style, Indian Pale L coming in at about 7.2%. Oh my gosh. Keep cold and drink fresh. Glowed up. Malt. Two row. Vienna. Wheat and oats. Hops. We got Amarillo. Citra. And Simcoe. Six pounds of hops per barrel. I'm sure you recall me saying this when I was drinking. Thank you, another Trap Door Brewing beer. This shit is double dry hop and it's juicy as fuck. And I'm gonna recycle this fucking can because I have like the recycling bottle drop off spot not too far from the crib. So with that being said, got the Great Notion hat today. We got the Mash Ton. Brewing Co. Glass. It's, I thought I washed it, but it's dirty as fuck. So if you see some DGM, don't get mad at me, all right? I tried to clean it, but this glass is extremely old. It's like my stumping ground when I first moved to the PDX. And now the Mash Tone Pub is Great Notion Brewing. Top three in my book, breweries in the PDX. Number two on my list outside of Grixon, number one. And Berlick Brewing, number three. Be sure to check those two establishments out because I know everybody and their moms and their great aunts and grandkids is hitting up Great Notion. So here we go. Mash Ton Brewing Co. Glass. Glowed up. Let's make it happen. Oh, wow. It's actually, it's actually, the pour is pretty fucking clean if you ask me. It looks pretty goddamn good. We're going to hold it right there, all right? We don't want this to spill. Now, if we talk about beautiful, how beautiful this look, um, I guess it looks pretty good. I mean, see that? Probably can see like some, a ton of fingerprints, but whatever. Um, I've had glowed up before, and... What made me interested in getting glowed up is because they placed it in a can. This awesome can. And something about can art work that looks dope. But, man, I hate to say it. Being a person from Michigan and hating the state of Ohio, something about hoof-hearted. Their can art is dope. Hands down, the best can art in the craft beer game. If there's another can art, out there that's doper than hoof hearted, you let me know. That's why the count com comment section is there. Um, you know what? Smells good because I've had it before. It tastes fucking good because I've had it before. And I'm sure it's gonna taste good now. So, on this last but not final installment of What Are You Drinking? I got glowed up. Trapdoor Brewing, please get to Vancouver, Washington if you're in the Pacific Northwest. Please get there. I went there in the summertime, recommended by a lot of peeps I know in the craft beer game here in the Pacific Northwest that live across the bridge or across the river in Vancouver. They said, hey, you need to get out here. If you want to check out the video that I did during my stay there, please, you heard it here first a sports, beer, and sober thoughts podcast. Go find that video under my beer vlogs and uh, check them out. I mean, they're dope. I mean, they produce some great beer. The customer service there is fucking awesome. Um, and their beer is awesome. The folks there is awesome. 
And, um, I mean, you gotta check them out. So, Drink Fresh. Uh, this was canned on... Uh, 129 18 and it is the 13th so I think I picked this up about uh, I was like two days after they released the cans all right so I wasn't in town at the time but I picked this up then so um, that's it dogs barking I don't know why the dogs barking but um, as always cheers from Charlie have you heard it here first this beer is fucking dope I had it before and uh, that's it here we go I'm not gonna say it tastes like it tastes in the summer, but it doesn't taste different from when it tastes in the summer or whenever it was the last summer. For the taking, it's in the making, baby.